Okay, so we had that service at 11 to 13. Um, so first, like, excerpt 11, like, describes how, describes how Grendel's, like, mother is and, like, the setting, the overall setting. So there's, like, a lot of dark air and black water, and animals are, like, really scared to go into that area, so they'd rather, like, die than go there. Um, excerpt 12 describes, like, how, uh, it describes, like, the overall battle where, um, Bay, Beowulf, Corey Beowulf, um, jumps into a lake and then he starts and then once he jumps in like Grendel's mom immediately starts like attacking him uh, he she like claws him and like scratches him and everything um, yeah so then they just have like a long battle and then Beowulf realizes that none of his weapons are like really working on Grendel's mom uh, Grendel's mother um, so he's like about to be killed but then like he has like a like a vest which protects him so he kind of attributes this to like like divinity like and god um so and then in excerpt 13 it, sh it like shifts to a more hopeful tone where he where he sees like a giant sword on the wall and then he uses that giant sword to uh behead the monster uh grendel's mom and then he uh takes the head and then like takes it back to the king as like a victory okay so for the analysis so there are a couple like overarching uh, like messages. For one, um, like sometimes the unexpected monsters can be more powerful than the expected ones, and then uh, anger and like rewards can motivate people more than morals. And then also, um, like even in the darkest times, with faith you can be saved. So some uh, like notable phrases. So heaven's weak. Um, and God sent him victory for the faith part, and then longed only for fame, and anger doubled his strength for the uh, motivation. And then um, the like very first phrase, like monster mother, that stood out, especially like for the characterization of Beowulf's mother. She's actually seen as a worthy opponent because Beowulf um, like dressed up, like put on like good armor and like brought like a good sword. And she was able to get him to fight like on her like turf, like her land. And she would have killed him without God's intervention. And then I think it was especially interesting, like the monster mother, like the duality of um, like a mother and a woman, which especially in this time period were usually described as like pure and innocent. And then like a monster, which is like evil. And then this battle was different than the first because uh, Beowulf was described as like struggling a lot more in this battle than the first one, and he prepared more. And then also like uh, his motivations were different. For the first battle, it was more just like protecting his people and like for his honor. But this one, he's motivated um, by like anger and also like the promise of like treasures when he returns. Uh, the like scene, the uh, setting was very like dark and like gloomy. And at the end, it, it didn't get like brighter, like more hopeful, even when um, Beowulf like won the battle, it, he was still very angry. And for the uh, time period, the, there was a location, the battle hall, which can be representative of how like during the time period, like, uh, like wars and like war heroes were very idolized. So, okay. So we start out in a clearing. In a clearing, and then it's like. No, it's my. That's my wave jumps. I wonder where this monster could be. 
really dark here. I can't see anything. Where? Ah! <laughs> This is my battlefield. You killed my son. <laughs> I will kill you. Ow, my knee! <laughs> I am God. Let me bless you with some help.